Hi, my name is Mary Haley. I'm the pastor here at Connect to Christ Church, and I welcome you to our video Lenten series, Creator God's Story of Hope. Today is Monday, the 22nd of March, and we are looking forward to spending a few minutes with you learning about uh, what God has to say about his wise rulings operating in our life. Now, we are, we've been reflecting on the word, and we've been repenting as the Spirit nudges us, and we want that refinement that he alone can bring so he can revive us and take us to a whole new level. We're looking for a whole new level at the end of these 40 days, aren't we, Sharif? Amen. This is Sharif Thomas, and he is with me today, and I'm just going to enjoy uh, listening to the Word of God because the Word of God brings us hope, and that hope is in our eternal Creator who promises faithfully to guide us through every area of our lives to get us to that promised the promised land is where we're headed. So, Sharif, if you'd be so kind to read for us. Yes, I'll be reading Psalm 119, um, verse 9 through 13 in the voice translation. And it says this, How can a young person remain pure? Only by living according to your word. I have pursued you with my whole heart. You do not let me stray from your commands. Deep within, within me, I have hidden your word so that I will not never sin against you. You are blessed, O eternal one. Instruct me in what you require. My lips have told how you have delivered all your wise rulings. You know, Sharif, one of the things that comes to my mind about this is just how it begins with that answer and that question, or that question, mm -hmm. and then we get a chance to listen to mm -hmm. the answers to it they're, they're following. And the, the question uh, just truly means how can we know that we're going to follow God's precepts? How do we know that we're going to be following uh, what he lays out before us each day. And I was thinking about a trip that um, John and I um, made to Yosemite a couple of years ago, and we had a map. And Yosemite is really kind of tricky when you're trying to navigate around because it's such a large place. And we ended up having to have this map with us all the time, even on when we were riding bicycles, so that we found ourselves in the places that we were trying to find. We were trying to find waterfalls and different special areas in the park. and. I was thinking to myself, you know, the Word of God is like that for us, Sheree. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to follow what God has for us every step of the way because he says he's going to complete our faith. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder if what you thought about with regard to this passage and that place of worship when knowing that God's going to guide us and direct us with his wisdom mm -hmm. every step of the way. Right. I love this passage so much, um, how he starts it out with the question, yeah. Um, how can a young person remain pure? Um, so first we see a desire yes. um, that the psalmist had when he wrote this, that he had yeah. a desire to be pure. Um, and then he goes into um, uh, what you were alluding to of like this God's commands and like you can't do it out what you can't do it outside of God's word. Uh, remain pure. Um, and you can't do it in your own strength either. So totally just relying on the Lord yeah. um, to allow him to minister through to you through the word through his word he says thy word have i hidden in my heart so i won't sin against you exactly so it takes uh um, being in the word and i think that right there should drive and has driven my worship uh being in god's word knowing his word hiding it within me um, and then having that desire as well to seek him and please him and all that i do um that right there is just it's a, a place of worship it's a place of worship yeah so when we're thinking about giving hope to those uh of our listeners mm -hmm. with regard to how we uh, can share this word with others, what comes to your mind? I would definitely say um, it begins with getting in the word yourself and then sharing that with somebody else um, and letting them know that's where you draw your strength from, from the Lord and his word. Um, and also um, having a desire to please the Lord yeah. um, and not trying to do it in your own strength, but uh, relying on him and all that you do. So as we are telling the folks that, you know, God has everything mapped out and he has it mapped out for you too. He has a plan and a purpose for your life, and as you and I are willing to walk that out with him every step of the way, he's going to find, uh, you know, we're going to find ourselves at the right place at the right time. It's almost like God guides us like this map. Mm -hmm. He just kind of takes us through his word, and, and we find these little different intersections with his his spirit, and he brings the power, and he brings the change, and mm -hmm. we bring the desire. Right. Awesome. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this uh, lesson today, and we just pray a blessing over uh, the word, and we know that it's going to accomplish what you send it to do, and so we just welcome that word, and we thank you, Father, that you're building a desire 
pour the word within us as we spend time with you each day. Thank you for stirring our hunger. And Father, I just pray that we'll be able to share how you really guide our lives in, in this wisdom all the time. And that we can share that with other people. Because in this world, Lord, if we do not have you guiding our lives, we're going to try to do things in our own strength. We're going to try to decide uh, what is right and wrong in our own understanding. And we're going to find ourselves not where we want to be. Uh, when you return. So help us to, to remain faithful to the word. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you all to have a blessed day. See you soon.